Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are baking with ice. Today is our second episode of Baking with Ken. Ken, what are we gonna be baking today? Special chocolate chip cookies. <gasps> Special chocolate chip cookies, my favorite. All right. Can you show everybody what, what we have here, what we need for these? Very squishy butter. Eggs, measure, uh, 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 brown sugar, sugar, vanilla, salt, syrup, uh, what are these? Flour, we have peanut butter, chips, and then this chocolate chip. <gasps> We're going to be using MMs. Baking soda. All right. Sounds delicious. All right. So, our first step is to take the butter. Yep. Here, let me pop that. Whoa. It's hard. I got it. <laughs> Good thing you got big muscles, right? Okay. So, first thing you need to do is put the butter in there. Both of them? Both butters. They're squishy. Don't want to do it. Okay. Smells good, but it doesn't taste good. And it makes the cookies taste good, though. Yeah. Here we go. Let me see. Yeah. All right. So you got some butter in there. We're going to mix it for just a second, and then we will add the sugar. Sugar. and soft, right? We had it at room temperature for a little bit. Uh -oh. yeah. Perfect. Now we need something. So now we need the regular sugar. How much? So we need three quarters cup of sugar, which means you'll be using both of the gray ones. So one, one of each. One fourth and then one second. Yep, one fourth and one half. That's right. So, so that one equals each. one each. That equals three quarters cup of granulated sugar. Okay, first it is small size. That's a lot of sugar. Next cup. Big one. Wow, that's a lot of sugar, but. So you'll be doing the same thing now with the brown sugar. Should I put two cups? Yep, so one, ah, one of each. So with the brown sugar though, what do we have to do? Scoop it. Yeah, but you gotta squish it down, right? It's gotta be packed brown sugar. So I have a spoon for you. You can go ahead and squish it in there first. You know what I like to do? I'll show you, you may have a different technique, but this is my favorite thing to do. I kind of scoop it and I take this and I smash it, you know, that way I get a nice, and then some people prefer to use the spoons, whatever you like to do. That's what I always do. I got too much on this. And smash it down really good, like a sand castle. Sand castle. Just like you want to use that. That's on the table. Okay, smash one. Do I pour it in? Mm hmm. Just wanted to make sure, because I almost poured it in without. And I already made a mess on the counter. Yeah, it happens. I love brown sugar. Same. Especially in our 
Yeah, I always wait potatoes. for it. Do you? Yes. Yes. It kind of has like a caramely taste, right? Mm -hmm. so now smash it down really good. Set this on the counter and smash it down so that you can fill, one so time? you can make sure that you. Um, Mommy, one time, smash the, um, the, the potatoes. Um, with the marshmallows in it, they turn my like, chicken colorful. Oh, did they? Oh, when we use colorful marshmallows, yeah. yeah they turned it green and orange. Mm-hmm. That's funny, right? Don't want to oh. Yeah, you want to smash it down really good so we can yep. get lots of sugar in these cookies. This is what gives it its flavor. A little more? All let's right. Go. Maybe a little bit more. That looks great. All right, so put it down gently, lock it, and turn it on low. Okay. Lock it. And now let that mix up for just a minute. Like this? stand mixer at home that's no problem you can use a hand mixer a hand mixer will do the job all right while that's mixing if you want to go ahead and crack open these eggs and then what put them in the bowl in this bowl yeah we'll, and we'll add one at a time I'm trying to do a little at a time so I don't get any cells in there. Any cells? Is it in the hand? Yep, no cells in there. Did I pour it in? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you pour it in? Yep. You can lift it up and we can unlock it. Well, that looks kind of good. It smells delicious already, right? Yeah. With the eggs added in, it does not. It's not that good. <laughs> Well, eggs in, eggs in itself don't really smell too great, but the sugar and the butter smell good. Let's check if there's a shell. There's a shell. Oh, there's like a I always check. Okay. All right, good job. No shells. Okay, you ready to add it in? Yeah. Okay, and then you'll lock it, put it on low, or actually you can probably, yeah, put it on two. I'll clean this up. Okay, I'm not touching that. Wait, put it on low? Yeah, that's too good. Let that mix for just a second. Now it's looking gross, but it's kind of lingering. I don't know. It's turning yellow. It starts to smell like cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you this. Turn it up to four. Scrape around the edge. Can you get the bowl out first? Yep. Yeah. I know it will be easier. There you go. I love cookies. spatula on there. How do I get this off? Just go to do that. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. It's kind of hard. Yeah. All right. This looks good. 
secret ingredient. This yeah. is really, really what gives the cookies a great taste. Wow, this Some pure maple syrup. So we are going to add two ounces. Two ounces. Yep, two ounces. It's a new bottle, so it's pretty heavy, right? Okay. A little bit more, girl. What do you think? A little bit more? Yep. All right. So to wipe that bottle off. I got this. Okay. We can go ahead and add that in. But first, let's unlock it. Unlock it. Add it. I wonder what it. It looks like coffee, kind of. It does. That gives me an idea of what to use for the next time. Coffee and cookies sound delicious. That's like my breakfast a lot of the times. Cookies and coffee. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and set it down gently. Lock it. Mix it. Put it on mixing. about, yeah, put it on about four. That four? Yeah. going to mix the dry ingredients. So leave this here for a second. We'll get all the dry ingredients mixed together and then we'll slowly add it into the mix. So we will be using two full cups of flour. Two full. Which ones? This one? The red ones. Yeah. One cup. Let me push this out of your way just a minute to give you some room. Okay. And yep, you can just put this right here. Because you'll be adding that in here. Oh. Don't smash it. Don't smash it. it likes you don't me. want it to get in your eyes, right? Remember, flower likes to fly everywhere. Oh, that's what I'm about. That's okay. Two of two of those bad boys. Wow. Two of these bad guys. That's a lot of flour then. It, well, yeah, we want to make a lot of cookies. Well, yeah, we do. Like sixty of each. Whoa, it's a lot of flour. A lot. We need one more little guy cup. That's the quarter cup. We oh, need this? a total of two and one fourth cup of flour. Well, that's a lot of flour then. That's not enough. This is enough. Okay. My hands are very messy. And we need one teaspoon. So remember, we're going to not measure it over the bowl, but on the side, right? In case we get too much salt. We don't want our cookies to be salty. This guy's almost out, but we'll use the last little bit. All right, perfect. There's so little. Oh, okay, that's plenty of salt. Okay. And then this is baking soda, so we do need one teaspoon of baking soda. Mm -hmm. One of these. One of those. 
I like to just have a little bit every day. Now we are going to whisk it slowly so it doesn't shoot up into our eyes, right? I've had flour get in my eyes before from oh. baking, and it's not fun. How's it looking? Good. Good? All right. So, and if you got it all mixed, what we are going to do, we are going to slowly add the dry mixture into the wet mixture. So this cup? Yes. Can I take the towel? Yeah, do you want to use your rubber spatula and push all this off the paddle? Yeah, I'll just put that in there. Some of this down for you. Like this much at a time until it mixes in, and then I can just keep pouring it. Sounds good. Yeah. We do a little at a time, right? Until we eventually mix all okay, that okay. flour in. Lock it. Is that hello? <laughs> a little dough on in the bowl and a lot of dough on this. Right. I'm thinking it. All right, you're gonna pour in the rest of that? Turn over now, like, nope. <laughs> I went it all the way up. 
Can you get this bolt out? Yep. That's what I was going to do. Let me just make sure we get this off so it doesn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it all the way. I thought that was the turn off button. It was like, oh. Got it? Yeah. Can you bring it on? I'll get you all cleaned up when we're done, right? Chocolate chips. We have semi sweet chocolate chips right here. Yummy. Okay, so we're gonna do three one third cups so that it is one cup of chocolate chips total. So you need three of these. So now you need one third cup more. So either you can do one more scoop of the M&M's, one more scoop of the peanut butter, one more scoop of the chocolate chip, or half of that full of M&M's and half full of chips. Half full of them and half full of these. Okay. You go ahead and do your M&M's first. About half of that cup full. Because all in total, you need about two cups of, of chocolate chips or M&M's. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, don't short change us on the chips, right? It's like the best part of the cookie. The two left. All right. Well, Seems like those are taste testers, right? Yeah. Okay. I love these. Okay. Mmm, those are good. All right. Can you show everybody what the dough looks like so far with all those chocolate chips in there? Mmm, looks so good. We're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a stir. So go ahead and stick the bowl back on the mixer. Whoa. Lock it in place. Ah, ah. Okay. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> What's the word? It smells delicious. All right. Um, do it up high really quick. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a pause. We're gonna put y'all on pause for just a minute. We're gonna stick the dough in the refrigerator Ooh. for 30 minutes. We stick it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so we can um, really let these ingredients, it'll, the cookie turns out much tastier. The spread is less, so it stays nice and puffy. 
Do we go so, cookie cutters or what? We're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna scoop it. So we're gonna put it in the fridge for thirty minutes, and then we'll be back. Mm. Okay guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. Our dough is nice and cold, so now we can start scooping it onto our cookie sheet. It's really good. Yes, we did try the cookie dough and it is super delicious. I know some people are not into trying no. the cookie dough just because of the possibility of getting salmonella from those eggs. But I guess we live a little bit on the wild side, right, Ken? We, yeah, we got to taste our dough. Definitely going to be a big cookie. Yeah, so you can even scoop half of that and make a second cookie. Okay. And um, let me know if you need a second spoon. And I can also hold this down because I know that the freshman paper likes to move. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and um, <laughs> scoop some cookie dough onto the That's cookie sheet. Enough. We're gonna bake these cookies at 375 degrees for about nine to 11 minutes, give or take. I can't get this off. Use your spoon, honey. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got I needed that spoon. This is hard to... Get off. Yeah, I like to use an ice cream scooper, just like just like we're using, um, versus like a cookie scoop, just because when you put the dough in the refrigerator, it makes it a little bit tough to, to get out of that scoop. And um, we've broken so many cookie scoops. So, I mean, just, you don't even need an ice cream scooper. You can use two spoons. Mommy, that. Perfect. Enough for one, and then we can use the rest. Or a normal. Like that, and then let's get that off. All right. While you're working on doing this, I'm going to go take the others off of the cookie sheet because we did put in a batch so we can show you the end product. Um, and I need your help with one more because I'm crying. Cannot get it on. It doesn't matter if they're nicely in a line. You can throw some in the middle. I'd probably throw a couple more in the middle of the cookie sheet. First, I'm going to in this one. There you go. It's hard. Okay, now we're going to do a couple. In the so, like one here. Or like this one. ones that we did. We baked one batch. Kenley, I think we need to try it so we can see how these cookies taste before we go giving them to our friends and family, right? You always have to try it first. Yeah. What do you think? They're hot. They're hot, but they're good, right? Mmm. So delicious. I think this recipe is awesome. I give it a 10 out of 10. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, just leave a comment if you would like the full recipe. It's super simple and you can add, feel free to add your own ingredients too. Some, page, some people like to do like pecans, walnuts, and, you know, you can make it, um, you can add some oatmeal, make it like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. The recipe is really um, up to you. 
But I hope you enjoyed this and um, stay tuned for next week, uh, Baking with Ken number three. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Give us a like and a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.